The desire starts at right about the same point for the men and for the women. So again, debunking this idea that somehow male desire, male libido is far stronger innately than female libido. But what happens interestingly is that male desire declines gradually over time. Female desire dives much more dramatically than male desire within those committed relationships. And I think two things are worth saying. First, again, at the very least, this calls into question this idea that somehow women are comparatively better suited to monogamy than men are. But second, I think the reason for the disparity showing women even less well suited sexually for monogamy than men has to do with cultural lessons and their effects on the brain. So I think most of us have heard this phrase or at least are familiar with the concept of brain plasticity. That is the brain is shifting neurologically, sometimes slightly, sometimes a significant amount, in response to what we do with it. That's why we're told to do lots of crossword puzzles as we get older, we'll strengthen our memories a bit. That's a sort of simplistic form of the brain plasticity concept. 